Hey guys, um, I was out here piddling on my kayak as usual. Um, sorry about my fingers in a way. I'm still getting used to this daggum thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I had an idea. I was looking on eBay and stuff for, I don't know if you've ever seen them or not, or if you're even interested in it, but it's, it's called a Scotty, um, stacking stove bait table, I think. Anyway, um, I came up with something. I want to see what y'all think. And, uh, I actually found what I used for this in that, if you've seen my video where I walked in that little pine forest and there was trash everywhere. Um, I picked some of it up. I couldn't get it all, you know, cause I was in my work van and I really just stopped to take a leap. But, um, yeah, I found this thing and a little bit of spray paint and some modifications here and there. I'll show you what I came up with. Let me get All you right, turned this around. This is how I got my rig set up for right now. There's, I've used this. This is a, it, I think it came with a, like a little portable grill in it. But anyway, it's just a bag now. I got two nine amp hour, 12 volt uh, closed cell batteries in there. They don't spill or leak or nothing like that. But I, that's where I'm keeping my power. And then I got this new panfish uh, portrait. Uh, by Yak Attack, and of course it's track mounted. Um, let me see if I can get this to hang on. There we just go. Just a second. Um, but yeah, I got my batteries in there. I got this on this side for the camera facing me sitting in the seat. Uh, paddle in uh, the paddle holder. Of course, life jacket. Don't ever go kayaking without a life jacket. I don't care how good a swimmer you are or think you are, always, always wear a life jacket. These are good. I like this one because you can change it. Um, you got an option to do automatic, but if you'll notice this sticker, I changed mine to manual because I am I get wet and I know I'll set it off. But anyway, I change that. Uh, and like I said the other day, I got a Yak Attack sticker with that little thing. This is what I came up with for my rear GoPro mount. It fits in this rod holder absolutely perfectly. And what it is, it is a hiking pole. And then you can see up there, I got my GoPro housing mounted on it. I think y'all have all seen that light I made. That's my light for running at dusk or dawn. Uh, I put my old crate back in here. I like the dry box, but it don't fit just right. I'm gonna see if I can come up with something because I'd rather have my dry box. But uh, I think y'all have all seen this kayak several times. And if you hadn't, it's got a little dry storage there with a tool kit in it. And then in there, I got another little nine amp hour, 12 volt battery that runs just this light. This thing will last for literally weeks on that battery. And then I'm still working on no big boy. I'll give y'all a sneak peek of that. And when I get it all together, I'll, uh, when I take it out, I'll show it to you. But yeah, she's uh, she's all legal now. But then of course I got my net strapped down. I made this net out of a dollar store uh, car wash handle, and it's extendable. That's it's uh, I think three feet like it is, and then you you can uh, expand it to like six maybe and then i've this old butt pack i had i put it on my seat and then i got in seat storage a little waterproof box there where i keep my fishing license uh boat registration papers and a power bank to charge my phone with um of course a pelican catch 110's got two rod holders on this side a forward facing and a rear facing and that one that's gonna uh, my GoPro pole is going to take it up, but that's all right because I got two more on my milk crate here. And then up here is what I, what I made. This is basically the same thing as one of them. It's all track mounted. I mounted it in the tracks where I didn't have to drill in a bunch of holes in my kayak. It's track mounted on this long track right here. I put these fold down clips on here for my transducer and now all i do is take these take the transducer out of there and pop it it ain't easy to do one-handed i can take but you pop it in like that right there 
and there's your trim that's backwards but i when i'm fishing i'll turn it around but anyway that's what i came up with and you can rotate it flip it up out of the way if you get in shallow water or whatever um, you can also use these to put your shallow water anchor in but they fold down flat is why i like them pull that out but they both fold down flat against the boat and then when you ain't using this, you just flip them out and stick them in there like that. But this is what I made. It's got a little bungee right here to hold my bait, my bump board. You take the bump board off. I got my scissors, uh, bait knife mounted on there. Uh, my pliers, this is my favorite fishing pliers. Uh, got a little this is for my a tripod for tripod excuse me for my phone then I mounted my Garmin uh, fish finder down here and I put a bottom in there for that and this is for a little camera pole for my phone as well but yeah that's track mounted um, it does basically the same thing as a little old tiny table that they charge you 50 bucks for and uh, yeah this is gonna be my setup for 23. And if it'll ever get warm enough where I can go out and try it out, we'll see how it works. But yeah, that, I notch that out a little bit and it holds my bump board perfect. And you just take that little bungee and clip on it and she ain't going nowhere. But yeah, and it's on a, a bungee lanyard in case I drop it. They say it floats, but Travis give me that and I don't wanna lose it. Uh, he gave it to me because a lot of the tournaments he fishes in, they won't let you use this particular, uh, it's a fray bill, expandable. They won't let you use that in some tournaments. Uh, you got to buy a 60 to a $100 catch board to be able to fish in their tournaments. Anyhow, a um, few cheaters uh, cause that. So, you know, I ain't getting into all that. Try to keep the politics off here. There's my old rod and reels. I was ready to go, but it's just too cold. Yeah, um, and a whistle. I always keep a whistle clipped on my life vest. But yeah, that's uh, that's my setup on that. And uh, maybe this uh, little bait tray right here give y'all some ideas. Because all I did was use two uh, toilet bolts. They're T-bolts. And uh, used a piece of corrugated plastic. Come in some kind of packaging we had. And then I used another track bolt or T-bolt here. I drilled a hole through a PVC cap where I can slide my little camera holder right down in there and rotate it, turn it. As there's nothing in the way of my fish finder. But yeah, uh, hopefully that'll help somebody. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, thank y'all so much for your continued support. I've gained a few subscribers. And hopefully soon uh, I'll get to 100 where I can do a giveaway. Uh, that's my plan anyway. I'll figure out something special to, to give away for the 100 subscribers. But y'all like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching, and God bless you.